All right, so today it's time for another one day build. And what we're gonna build is a Amazon app UI clone, essentially. So we're gonna build a clone of the UI for the Amazon app. And we're gonna build that using Flutter, which is my favorite framework for building apps. And before we start, I just wanna mention quickly kind of the reason why I started doing these one day builds. So the point of these one day builds is not to be tutorials. It's not to teach you how to build these apps. Uh, that's why I kind of fast forward every time I build something or every time I code, I just fast forward through it. Uh, it's more for like inspiration or for showing you what can be done or in this case, we're building the Amazon app clone. And I know that when I started out, I wish that someone would just have like a clone of the UI for certain apps because I didn't know how to build it myself. I could download it and just see how they built it and then I could practice building it myself. So it's kind of satisfying a need that I had when I started. And also I love watching other people build things. I feel like I say this in every video, but my favorite thing to do on YouTube is literally just to watch people code things not watch tutorials because I don't really care about what or how they get the things done. So that's kind of the idea with these videos, with these one day builds, is not to go through the entire process step by step. It's just to show like overall how I build these apps and kind of what I'm, what I'm thinking when I'm going through them. Since I'm not trying to make a tutorial, I'm not trying to explain all of it. And I think the perfect example of one of these videos that really inspires me is a video by a guy called, or he's called Engineer Man on YouTube. I don't know what his real name is, but he does a video where he essentially, like it's something, it's called something like someone tried to scam Engineer Man. What he does in that is he uses Python and he basically, I think he sees like a fake website where you should sign in with your password to like, let's say that it's Instagram or something like that. Uh, it's like a fake Instagram page and you should sign in using your email and password and then they sh will steal your password essentially. So what he does is he like creates this thing where he basically just sends a million or a thousand uh, email addresses to this uh, scam website. And I just love that video. It's really short. It's like five minutes and it just really inspires me to code. So I'll leave a link to that in the description as well in case you want to watch it. But now let's get into this video. All right, so uh, this is kind of the best solution that I came up with for showing uh, how the Amazon app actually looks. Uh, so this is my phone that I've connected and I'm like recording it or showing it on the screen here, which is why there's, it's such bad quality, but, uh, it doesn't really matter too much. What we want to get is, I just want to show you kind of what it looks like. We're going to build out the homepage here, um, with the logo, the, this little tab, the search bar, and then all of this giant list of products. Um, so we're going to have to download a fair few images to kind of make this uh, look a little bit better or make it look somewhat close to what this looks like. But this isn't a super difficult build. It's essentially just a long list of different products. So anyway, this is what we're going to build out and we're going to start this like we usually start our project our projects and that's going to be by creating a new project. So create uh, Amazon clone. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is this top part here. We're going to build out that bar. And what we need for that is we need to download this logo here. And then I'm just going to use uh, the icons and stuff like that, that comes with flutter. Uh, for these different icons here. So uh, yeah, that's what we're going to start with. All right, so uh, this is what it looks like right now. 
which I think is pretty close to what the actual app looks like. Uh, so we have this search bar here where we can type in anything that we want to search for. And then we have this little icon here for image. That's a button, but it doesn't do anything. Uh, these ones are also buttons, but they don't do anything. Um, what's going to happen is when you press this one, it should open up the little tab like the app actually does. So when you press that, it opens up that tab. And I also just want to explain quickly how uh, I did this. So what I did was I created a new widget uh, called top bar. And that essentially is all of this stuff. So everything that you see up here is contained within this top bar widget. Uh, now that means that we can then go ahead and like use that in another page if uh, there's a different page within the app that also has the same top bar. So yeah, that's kind of the idea. And now we're gonna build out the list of all the different products. All right, so something that I just wanna share a little bit quickly here is right now I'm looking for things that I can create that's gonna be reusable so that I don't, so that I pretty much just have to code it once and I don't have to redo the whole thing all over and over. So I'm looking for th similarities between all of these different, you can consider like this whole little square here is one, could be one widget and I'm looking for similarities between all these different sh uh, squares. So right now what I see as similarities is there's a couple of different versions of this, um, this widget, I guess, that we can make. Uh, there's one version that essentially has a title. Uh, so you have this title up here. Then you have some content, so something inside um, that it's showing, some products or whatever. And then it has a button on the bottom that says see, see all deals. So you can see this one has that format. Um, this one also has that format, although the content is different. So this, this, and then some form of content, that is the similarity. Uh, this one is also the same title, content, and button. And then we have the second type of uh, widget that we can create. And that is this widget here that's just like a title and then some content and then there's nothing else. I'm like, you can press the content and you'll get to the, like that category or that product. But that is kind of one, another type of widget that we can use. So I guess what you could do is you could make a widget that one widget for uh, this stuff. So where it's like, where it's got the button on the bottom and then one widget for this one where it doesn't have any buttons, it's only images of things. So that's, I think that's how I'm gonna start. I'm gonna make this as one widget and then I'm gonna make uh, this as another widget. That was just kind of an insight into kind of how I look at this to try to figure out how I could create something that is reusable so that I don't have to code it over and over again. Okay, so uh, this is what it looks like right now. We've got the product, uh, the title for that product, and then we have this button here for see all deals. And then we have another one here that is similar to this one uh, right here, where you have a couple different images that are actually very similar to the ones that I've got here. I didn't really think about that. Um, okay, so then we have a couple images there. So that's the other type of uh, container that we can have. Another one with just one image. And then we have the third type, which is um, this sort of one, uh, where we have the price and then the title of the product. Uh, right now, I only set the title of the product to be product, but you can set that to be whatever you want. And then we also have the see all deals uh, button as well. 
The next thing is going to be to just create this card here, which is uh, fairly simple. It's just exactly the same as this, but no buttons and then just a uh, title. Uh, so that's going to be the next card to create. Oh, and actually, let's also go through kind of how I was able to do this. So I created a class called product, which has the name of the product, the price of the product, and the image that's uh, for the product. And then I also downloaded a bunch of images for the different uh, products. So we have that here. And what I then created was a product list uh, widget, which has a map of titles. So these are then the titles that sh get shown here, um, like that. And that then creates our products. Uh, this is just a random loop that I kind of made so that we would get not just the same exact card over and over, but we want to get several different ones. And what I create here is one that has nine images, which is this sort of card, and one that just has one image, and then the third type, which has three images. And then I basically create a product card, which is another widget that I created here. And this widget takes a list of products. So when you initiate this widget, you, get, you have to provide a list of products. And uh, depending on how many products there are, if there are three products, they'll get displayed like this. So one, two, three in a list up and down. And if it's only one product, then it will get displayed as a big image like that. If it's nine products, it will get displayed like this. And those are kind of the different layouts that I saw when I was trying to look at this app. Uh, it seems to be just like either three images and then they're like lined up like this or it's one big image and then it's just that big image essentially or it can be like nine images so those are the different ones that i kind of found and then we have the last widget type which is this one which just has images uh, and no cdc or deals uh, button so that's the last one that we're going to create and then we'll go into the tab system okay so now we've fixed that last thing so uh, now we have all of the different types of widgets i guess that we can have so oh wait we should add the title to all right so the last thing, we have this one, which is this one here, but we should also add the titles below. So that's the next thing that we're gonna do, just add that quickly. All right, so now we have all of that. And the last part of this one day build is gonna be to create a uh, I think this is called like a drawer or something that pops out like that, the little tab thing. So uh, that's going to be the last thing that we're going to create. And uh, before we get to that, I'm just going to explain again how I did this. So I created another class called category and that has a list of images. And those are then all of these images that you see here. And then it has a list of cat of the categories, so the subcategories of the main category. So we have servers, monitors, those are the subcategories here. And that is then what I used to actually get this to show up. And then I just created another widget uh, here called category card. And that is pretty much doing the exact same thing as uh, the product card does here. So um, yeah, that's kind of how I did it. It's not a super in-depth explanation of anything, but just so you get an idea of kind of how I was able to do this. All right, now let's Google how to create that kind of drawer thing, because I don't know how to do that. <laughs>
All right, I think we're done now with uh, the entire build and I'm pretty happy. It looks pretty much exactly the same as the app does. Let's go through it. We have the list that is the same. It all looks the same. And the final thing that we just completed was the drawer, which is what is called in uh, Flutter. And that is this part where we tap the app here and we get like hello sign in and then a couple of buttons here and yeah some stuff so right now if we press this we get the same thing so we get hello sign in home your off your orders your lists uh, your account shop by department all that stuff is what we get so and i even added the little american flag there on the settings part but yeah, that is, I guess, the homepage of the Amazon app done. A UI clone of the homepage of the Amazon app. All right. Okay, so uh, that's it for today. Uh, I think it ended up looking really good. I feel like it looks the same way that the actual app looks. And uh, like I said in the video, I don't actually use the Amazon app myself. I don't use Amazon that much. I live in Sweden, so Amazon isn't really that prevalent here or like that it, it isn't used that much. So I hope that if you were looking for how to build this stuff out in Flutter, then you can download the GitHub repository that's in the description of this video and you can clone it and you can kind of see how I built this. And hopefully that'll help you. Uh, and if nothing else, maybe this was interesting to watch. And before we get going, like I try to always end the videos with, is Clean Code Friday, which is a short email that I send out every Friday that contains like a few of the most interesting things that I've explored and discovered throughout the week. Uh, and this will be things like uh, coding tips and tricks, uh, just random thoughts that I've had, uh, books I'm reading, uh, topics I'm diving into, uh, really anything that I think you might be interested in. So if you want to sign up for that, then you, there's a link in the description. I don't really sell anything on there. I haven't sold anything on there yet. Uh, it's no spam. It's nothing like that. And it's also completely inspired by Tim Ferriss's Five Bullet Friday, which I really enjoy. So I wanted to create something similar for myself. Uh, so it's really just a few things that I think are really interesting that I hope you will enjoy as well. So if you want to sign up to that, you can go to the link in the description or you can go to caltech.com slash clean code friday and sign up all right that's it for this one i hope you enjoyed it and i hope i'll see you in the next one